The mystery of the Freemasons in Philadelphia is being unveiled. The fraternity is opening its Masonic temple for tours at no cost. This comes as the temple celebrates 150 years. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Howard Monroe got a look inside. You know, a fantastic building. Fantastic in that it's, it's historic. Also fantastic because it, it's filled with mystery, really, and purpose. The symbolism and grandeur of the Masonic Temple in Center City. It's celebrating 150 years. The Temple on North Broad Street invites you to tour it. What is it about, um, about this building that you love so much? Uh, to me, uh, it is the uh, sense of history. John Minot has been giving tours of the temple for 25 years. The building opened in 1873 and is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. It serves as the headquarters for the Grand Lodge of Pennsylvania. To this day, the official work of the Freemasons is done in seven different meeting rooms, all with different themes. And this is the Oriental Room? Yes, uh, but in this case, Oriental just means Eastern. Much of the materials used in the building came from Europe, but the stained glass window that illuminates the second floor foyer was made right here in Philadelphia. So you mentioned that the stained glass, it was made in Philadelphia. 1874, McGee and Smith on South Broad Street. Now, typically, it's City Hall that gets all the architectural accolades here in the city, but the temple here, it was in operation for over 20 years before construction on City Hall ever began. Visit Philly listed the temple as one of the city's hidden gems. The irony of that is that it's across the street from the world famous City Hall. You know, it still seems to be a great secret hidden in plain sight. Despite looking like a cathedral, there's no religion associated with the temple or Freemasons. And despite 14 U.S. presidents being members, there's also no political affiliation. Good men from different backgrounds, different faiths. And uh, we come together. The free tours will be held on the first Sunday of every month until June. Howard Monroe, CBS News, Philadelphia.